So we're going to start up the gameplay right now, and it doesn't look like this is a, the actual start, it's just a little bit off. Um, but we're going to see how he does with, with everything. So I like how he doesn't overrush right at the start. Um, I'm going to be watching his radar as well. So you can see a guy on his radar, and um, obviously he took him out, he did that well. However, you probably should have switched to your assault rifle. Um, that would have probably made it a little bit easier, probably you know, made it so you don't have much of a chance to die. That guy snuck up on you. He was sprinting, so it was hard to see him on your radar. Um, and you should have spammed the plasma caster. A lot of times if you get snuck, snuck up on, you need to spam the plasma caster. Um, right here, you should have sprinted directly back to where you died. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but on your death cam, there was like three guys there. You could have got to clean up. Ooh, ooh, man, you know... A lot of times I say this, but you really shouldn't be starting an engagement with a grenade throw. It, it's 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 never a good idea to start, you know, a fight with a grenade throw. It's it's never going to end well for you. You need to kill that habit. You would have killed that guy had you actually went and um, shot at him rather than just throw the grenade that that missed. So you see this guy, and you try to throw a grenade again. You're throwing grenades at people that you really don't need to be throwing grenades. You have a pistol in your other slot, your other weapon slot. You could have gotten a couple shots on him before you actually, um, you know, engaged him there. Um, one thing, again, with the storm rifle, I think this is just, you know, you not knowing too much about the storm rifle. But if you thruster pack halfway through using your storm rifle, you can kind of reset that cooldown. So here we go with the plasma pistol, see if we can get a noob combo. Um, just so you know, OS is coming up, overshield is coming up in about five seconds. I don't know if you know that or not. That could be um, what you were doing there. Uh, good ground pound, but you really should have switched to your pistol and tried to headshot him. You still got the kill, but a lot of times there's a much more efficient way of doing things. Um, good job there, but I probably would have used my plasma pistol to siphon his shields off, take off his shields, and then go for the melee. Um, and I think some of your biggest mistakes so far, at least what I'm seeing, is just knowing the situation you're in and knowing what tools, what weapons are best for that situation. Um, there, that was good. I probably would have had my assault rifle out knowing that I was going to be in a close quarters engagement. You still got the kill. You still got the kill. I'm not bashing you for that. But if you had your assault rifle out, you may have killed that second guy that ended up killing you. Again, you're leading your um, fight with a grenade. Not really the way you want to go. You want to start shooting at enemies first. It's much more effective. Um, things can happen like what happened to you. you. You grenaded yourself and you ended up not being able to get that kill anyway. <clears throat> so I'm just seeing a lot of just positioning. Oh, there we go again, man. You really got to kill that habit of throwing grenades at people um, when, the, when you first see them. Uh, I think, you know, if you kill that habit, you're going to see a giant increase in your scores. Uh, that's really, really going to help you. Um, and that's one of the biggest things here. Another thing is just awareness of where you are in the map. You seem to a lot of times have a weapon that's not necessarily the best for your situation. You know, you're running into close quarters engagements with the pistol or you're running at enemies that are far away with the storm rifle or assault rifle. Um, I think if you kill those habits, you actually have a pretty good shot. When I've seen you in, as far as your gameplay, um, when you're in a position that you have the right weapon, um, you do very well, and you generally will get the kill. So I think if you just, uh, you know, take that and think about that when you're playing, I think that will really help you out. And that goes for all my fans. This isn't just for Zoc113. This is for all of my fans. Think about that. If you notice that you're always feeling like the other player always has the upper hand, this could be the problem. You could be, uh, you know, using the assault rifle when you should be using the magnum, or using the magnum when you should be using the storm rifle. So I like your, your plasma caster here, but you, again, you really should be more spammy with it. Um, I don't want to talk too much about the plasma caster, but you really should be more spammy with it if, you know, uh, someone's coming up on you. You, do, you really don't want to conserve any ammo in free-for-all anyway. Um, you know, you really just want to try to get as many kills as you can. Uh, but you are doing a very good job of not rushing out, not, you know, overextending yourself. I think you have a good sense of the map in that, in that sense. You kind of know where things are. Um, but at the same time, you don't, you don't really know uh, where to look for people. Um, you know, you, you, revenge kills is a big part about free for all. Uh, but like I said, right here, you got two kills in a row because you had the right tools for the job. 
That's a big thing about Halo, you gotta have the right tools for the job. There's a reason the weapons are placed on the map, and it's because it's for players to, you know, use those weapons against other players. And we're gonna actually look at some more gameplay here for of you and some more free-for-all. Now we're on to the second game, and you can see we're on Pegasus. Uh, again, you're throwing grenades at the enemy, I think, a little bit too much. It's working out for you. So, you know, you might have the idea that, well, it's working out for me, I, you know, I don't need to listen to him. But I think you would have killed that guy pretty easily if you had just shot at him. Um, you, but you, instead you threw two grenades, the first one when you didn't see him, the second one when you did. Uh, and that's, that's really going to hinder you. So here, you see, I see that you're throwing grenades at the guy before you see him, that's great, that's a great job. You can see how easy it was to kill that guy. Um, also, picking up the light rifle. I would probably pick up the light rifle and the assault rifle, meaning switch your pistol out for the light rifle. Um, oh, that was actually kind of nice. That was a good grenade throw. That was a good, uh, good on your part. You can see how easy it was to kill that guy because you took down his shields before you ever even fought with him. There, not much you can do. He had a shotgun. Um, I don't think you had any grenades. Um, I don't even think you could have known that those guys were coming up. Other than that's just kind of basic map knowledge that everyone kind of fights for, this top, for the top. Um, so there, I, I couldn't, with the, with the things, you know, with theater, I couldn't really tell if that guy had overshield. It kind of looked like he did. So that was kind of a good, uh, you know, idea, good try to try to run away. Um, but I would have at least shot at him a little bit. Uh, and then it looks like you've probably played Pegasus a lot more than you've played Eden. Uh, or not Eden. No, that's Eden. The, the other match was, map was Eden, right? I don't know. I have trouble remembering the Halo 5 maps. Uh, because it looks like you're much more experienced on this map. Obviously, you're looking through the window. That's something not a lot of new players do. Um, you know that the top is you know, pretty highly uh, traveled area. And here, you're, you're doing a lot better on this map. I can tell that you, know, you're, you definitely have some issues. Um, one, throwing grenades when you shouldn't be, which is one of the biggest things. And I think just random map knowledge, because you seem to be doing a lot better, a lot better on Pegasus than you did on Eden. And I think that's probably mostly because, you know, you don't know how the maps flow. And that'll come with practice. But you also should really think about, you know, hey, when do I use certain weapons at, at certain times? Um, when do I get to throw my grenades? Because I, I can see that there's some, there's some poor timing with your grenades. You're not throwing them at the right times. You're throwing them either too early or too late. Um, you're in great position as far as Pegasus goes. You just need to kind of capitalize on that and, you know, use the grenades in the right, right times. Use the weapons at the right times. If you can do that, I think you'll start to win more games pretty soon. Um, that's just unfortunate. I hate doing that. I do that all the time. I do that too. Um, I hate, I hate doing that. But I can tell that as far as Pegasus goes, you've probably played a lot more Pegasus than you have Eden because it just looks like you're much more experienced on the map. Uh, I can definitely tell that just from your gameplay and from the amount of kills you have. In the last game you hardly had any, and in this game you had 11. So that's, even though you're not necessarily winning, you're doing much, much better. So here, uh, yeah, good getaway. Again, like you said, you know, Pegasus. Um, and this just goes to show that there's different levels of knowledge on different maps. And I think uh, this definitely, well, I don't know why you shot that plasma pistol off. Um, but it definitely goes to show that there is a, uh, you know, a different level of player on each map. For instance, I'm very good on Fathom. I'm pretty terrible on maps like uh, Regret. You know, that's just one map that I don't play a lot. And because of that, I don't think I do very well on it. Um, you know. I do think you need to be faster, though. A lot of times I see you walking around the map when you should be sprinting. Now, you shouldn't over sprint. And that means sprinting when you shouldn't be. Sprinting into situations where you shouldn't be. Um, but I do see you moving very slowly around the map. I think that can be a problem. Sure, you always have your gun out. But certain times you need to be sprinting. And you need to know when to stop sprinting. Um, being fast in Halo 5 is definitely a benefit. Uh, you're going to be much better off in this game if you can be fast. And I think you really need to work on that as well as map knowledge in your other maps. Pegasus looks like you're, you know, halfway there. Um, and you also need to know when to use different weapons. A lot about positioning, you know, a lot about map knowledge, a lot about general knowledge of the game. And that'll all come with practice. But sometimes it, it just takes somebody to tell you that. 
takes somebody to you know, tell you exactly what's going wrong. So I want to thank you, Zach113, for giving me this uh, video. Also, um, thank you for your donation on Patreon. I'll be doing some more of these um, throughout the next couple months uh, if they let me teach something to my entire fan base. So uh, thank you all that aren't Zach and Zach for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.